Okay, guys. So we are looking at um, immunochromatography. Immunochromatography. Right. So for this immunochromatography, we just look at the test, the principles, how it is performed, what is useful. So it's also known as what well, lateral flow immunoassay. It's a rapid diagnostic technique that combines what chromatography and immunoassay principles. So it's widely used for dictating antigens and antibodies in what biological samples, like you want to pick up stuff from what blood, urine, and saliva. Okay. So what's the principle? The test strip contains what immobilized antibodies. As antibodies are just in one place, right? So they are specifically bind to a target antigen. All right, that they will specifically bind to a target antigen. So a sample is applied to the strip, the capillary action moves it along the membrane. So if the target antigen is present now, it's now bind to the antibodies, forming a visible colored line. Now, can you see the result here? See all those visible colored lines there? All right, so a control line ensures the test is functioning correctly. Okay. So application, you can use in medical diagnostic, pregnancy test, COVID-19 rapid test, malaria dictation, also using food test uh, safety, you can dictate what contaminants like allergens or toxins, right? Environmental testing, you help to dictate pollutants in water and soil. So advantages is um, there's fast result, it's simple and user friendly, requires no specialized equipment, okay? So it's portable. So it's ideal for what point of care testing. So limitations is there's lower sensitivity compared to laboratory based assays. Potential cross reactivity can lead to false positive, and there's limited quantification. So it provides qualitative results more than what's precise measurement. You understand? So that's it for immunochromatography.